once it's loaded, you'll see this screen for all of your different articles and the only things that obviously change are the content and the optimizations, but it follows the same kind of structure throughout. On the left hand side, you will see your different recommendation categories, so recommendations, latent semantic indexing, keyword staffing, keywords, errors, etc. In the middle, you will see your work area. This is where you make the changes that you then copy into your HTML and your website. And on the right hand side, you'll see the in depth recommendation guidelines for the recommendation selected on the left hand side of the page. You'll also see in the top left hand corner, and this is the most crucial part of it, the page content optimization score. This will be separated into two separate ranks. So you're gonna have on the left hand side, your score within the editor. And on the right hand side, you have the score within your website. You'll often see a slight discrepancy between these two different scores, simply because any changes you make in the editor here, you then click refresh and you get an updated score. However, until you paste this HTML back into your website, your website, of course, is still going to be showing the original version that is unoptimized in the breaker. Scores closer to 100 are always wanted, and this metric is made up of comparing your content compared to the top 10 competitors ranking for the same keywords. Um, so, of course, uh, closer to 100 is better, but it's not always necessary. It's all about the content actually satisfying user intent and your content somewhat aligning with the other competitors in your SERPs. If at any point you want to restart again and or you've gone to your website and you've copied in all of this new text, you would then go to the load content from website button, click on it, read the text. It essentially says, do you want to reset the web page content before optimization? This will just pull the content directly from your website as it is now. So if you haven't update your updated your cache unit, you probably still see the old version. If you've purged your cache, added your new content, this would then load the content from your website for the most recent content. We, of course, don't want to do that right now. We're just going to work with what we've got as well. Of course, I'm going to click cancel. Next, we're going to go through your different recommendation categories, what they mean, and how you can optimize your content within these to help you rank better. The first one we're going to go through is the keyword recommendations. This is based off what keywords are used by your competitors in their different tags and the body content, and which words are not. 